What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, the ch channel of trading, faith, and wealth. And today we will be taking a close look at XRP with Ichimoku Kink Ohio analysis. So, you guys, if you are new to this channel and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and go ahead and like this video. Get this video to 100 likes. Share this video, y'all. Y'all know I give you guys some good stuff, man. I'm just playing. But, you know, sh show some love, man. Show some love. Uh, I just got a message on Facebook. I was like, okay. But um, you guys, XRP is still in a range. And before we go into that, I want to read you guys a scripture. I always read a scripture before I get into any analysis. And I always want to give you guys some encouraging words or you know, give you guys a message. Uh, so today we will be coming out of Ephesians 4 and 2. And it reads... With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, or bearing one another in love. So it's saying to be in lowliness and to be in meekness and with long suffering. And when it says long suffering, it doesn't mean to suffer, it means enduring the trials that are coming to you. When people are treating you wrong and poorly out of character and they spitefully use you. You know, still show love and still continue to love people because you are supposed to pray for those that spitefully use us and hurt us and people that are going to, you know, try to get you out of the characteristics of God, which is the fruits of the Spirit. And I could go deeper into that. So, guys, if you guys like, you know, these Bible messages, that uh, I, I'm going to start teaching more. I do have some on my video, on my, on my, on my, on my uh, channel already. Uh, you guys, I, I hope you could really, you know, really get into the Bible and really start reading your word for yourself because it is good to, you know, examine yourself and to study yourself, approve, and get in the knowledge and understanding of God and the Holy Spirit if you are really into that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that message. Uh, I do want to, you know, just, you know, I always got to give God glory. And I always got to read the script before I get started. So. That being said, let's jump right into the Ichimoku analysis on XRP. All right, now looking at XRP, we, like I was saying before, we are in a range here where we had some trouble fighting this, uh, getting above this area. We did break it at one point and got up to 21 cents. But here's the problem. We This is a strong level of resistance. So we have a flat level cloud here. If I was to take all this off, this flat level of the cloud here is showing that we are still, you know, this is still resistance. When we're inside the cloud, this is showing us that we're in turbulence. So there's not enough data here to go off of on the, the daily time frame. So we have to go to a smaller chart to see what's going on inside this range here. We're going to go to the four hour chart. And as you see, like I said, we're ranging. Secret spans inside the price. Price is just ranging. So what we need to do to get above, you know, to see higher prices, we definitely need to give up, get above the key dream right here. I'll be waiting on that. But right now, it seems like price is just consolidating for accumulation right here. As we know, Ripple is building uh, XRP's uh, ecosystem right now and still continuing to build uh, you know, go with banks and stuff. So this is still good right now. As long as we're holding above this level, we're still bullish. Once we get above this level, you know, once we get above this level, then I expect prices to start soaring even higher. Looking here, you know, it's it's looking pretty good. We have a you know indecision at this level, so price may want to start moving higher at this point. If I was to draw a line across, you know, like that. All right here, That's right, right. Oh my goodness, right there. So if I'm gonna put a line right here, you can see that it, we're holding this level pretty good. You see that it did break through, and then we had a fake out, and we came back above it. Had a push through again, fake out, came above it, fake out here. Now we're holding again here. So 
that's what I like to see with Price. So now what we need to do is start moving up higher. We did get a bearish TK cross within here. I right, take this off. We had a bearish cross in here. Now it looks like we're starting to push higher. We, may, we should push higher so we could get a bullish cross and start moving higher here. But right now, there's no, you know, right now we're inside the cloud here. So it's, it's not, it's not yet, you know, ready for the market to move higher. Just not yet. As long once we get above this cloud and once we get above this key June, this blue line here, then I expect prices to start moving higher. Looking at it here, you check here. Man, my phone is blowing up today, guys. <laughs> So if you look at it here, we are ranging, like I said, we're ranging. And once we get above this green zone, actually, I'm going to put a alert here. Let me go ahead. Okay. Play by chance. So once we get above this level, then I expect prices to start moving upward. If we break below this level, then prices should start moving lower. But right now, I'm not trade, looking for no trading opportunities until we get above this level here. So, and I'm not going to look for any trading opportunities until we get below this level. If we break below 19 pence and 632, then that's when I will start looking for short opportunity. No chance at the um, I don't trade in the middle of a... Uh, Know, of a moving market because you could you know come up halfway and you know get rejected here but right now we can get rejected here we got some cloud resistance we can move down but right now i think price is going to make its way back up here so for the short term this is what i have right here that's not a big percentage i don't like small percentages uh, i'd rather wait till we get a breakout an actual breakout so this is my analysis for now. Once we get above here, then let's see how we get, how we fare when we get to this green line here. Other than that, that's the analysis for today. There's really not much to say for XRP. We're just in a ranging market. So really right now, this market is a 50-50 market until we break either one of these levels. So here's my, right here. So. This is literally what we're where we're at right now. This is literally where we're at right now. So price is literally, you know, and I'm not saying from this point, I'm saying just in this box. So let me ask. Within this box, this is what, what the market's telling us because you know it's range, then it's close to the upside or range, then it's close to the downside. So here, if I was to explain a little more, this right there. We have this drop. Now we have the base of the market. So we could get a rally or a drop. So we have this drop, base, drop, or this drop, base, then a rally. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm not trading this yet. I need to get clear confirmation that we'll be moving higher so right now like i said you see the market's moving up wait till we get here and we'll see if the market will break to the upside i'm bullish all day i just need that full confirmation that will break this level to move higher all right that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment subscribe let me know your thoughts on this analysis and stay tuned for the next video god bless and peace